Right. In keeping with the times, voting booth quickie. Today, I'm supposed to swell with civic pride, but I just feel small and dirty. The voting booth sat like fat, middle-aged, institutionalized mental patients with their mouths open, squatting on all four sides of the town meeting hall. The League of Women Voter Ladies were angry because they found an S name listed in the A to G book. Sniping at one another like drivers on the Jersey Turnpike, I'm shocked to realize that the color that dominates this farce is exactly the same as the police interrogation room I saw in 1968 when I witnessed cops beat my black friend, Billy Crawley. His blood looked so dark against the government green. Even the blood of the world at large looks so dark against our green. I nervously noted a blue-haired woman was stitching my white voting coupon onto a green length of string. The pile looked like so many grounded kites. The polyester curtains reminded me of the Royal Motel on Route 3 in Secaucus, New Jersey where you can get a room for three hours for 20 bucks. When the lever slammed down, I felt shame. I was relieved when I turned to see the seam and the crumpled curtain was sealed. My actions would be covered. I came out feeling that same lack of satisfaction that a virgin losing his virginity to a $10 whore would, humiliated by a voting booth Thank you.